Hey guys, how are you doing you beautiful gorgeous people of the web and thank you so much for joining me and clicking on my channel. I'm James, I'm from the UK and when I first started this channel just over a year ago, a um, year and a half ago, I started with Madonna and um, guess what? I've got tickets to go and see Madonna! Oh my god, I'm seeing Madonna for the first Ever time and because it's sold out in the UK right I need to say this story guys come on you love Madonna so you'll understand the passion for this for this tour it's the first greatest hits tour she's done it's four decades I've seen the introduction video of um, the truth or dare kind of skit um, I am so oh my gosh for the past two weeks I've literally been playing Madonna I, I and um when I study and I'm at the library near uni, this is bridge to cross over onto campus. And I <laughs> like literally, I've got my backpack on and I feel like I'm in the Papa Don't Preach video and I'm like, the one you want me all about. Um, but yeah, I am so excited. Um, because I couldn't get tickets in London, I said to my friend, I was like, let's do a road trip. So I'm going to Sweden. I'm going to Sweden, Stockholm, to go and see Madonna, and I'm in near the front, in the front block. So, if you guys are there, anyone going to see her in Sweden, and you see me, say hello, because I am so excited. We're doing a little mini road trip, me and my friends, and it's the first time I've seen Madonna, and I am so excited. I feel this tour is going to be a spectacle, because um, Madonna's such a creative person. I'm just rambling. Let's do this. We're doing... Future Lovers from the Confession Store. Um, I'm just so Madonna excited. I'm so, so excited. Um, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below. Give the video a like it. Let's do it. You're not here to see me. You're here to see Madonna. Let's do it. just realized so was this the introduction to the tour i've not seen this tour i've only seen like little clips of it i've never actually watched this tour uh, which is so weird my friend went to see this i'm so jealous um because confessions was such a amazing album it th this album will always remind me of coming out for the first time this was like when hung up came out i think it was like 17 years old and it came out so that's what the song the the whole um, Confessions album <laughs> reminds me of what a coming out party, but yeah. <laughs> Oh 
better. I've got chills. For me, I always thought this was a song that really stood out as being a single worthy like. I feel like this should have been released instead of Jump. I feel like Confessions had a flawless run. I think Get Right, okay, so we've got Hung Up. I mean, it's self explanatory. What a song. Um, and obviously, um, American Life was quite underrated. American Life's actually my second favourite Madonna album after Ray of Light. I think Ray of, um, American Life is a masterpiece and really underappreciated. I love everything on it. I love Easy Ride. I love, um, obviously, um, love Profusion. Um, I love Nothing Fails. As I think it's just absolutely stunning. And um, Mother and Father. Um, at Static Process is... And I always think I'll end up getting a tattoo of that song. Of I love the lyric when she's like, um, I always wish that I could find someone as beautiful as you, but in the process I forgot that I was special too. Like, it always gives me chills. Um, but then she went from that, then obviously you had the um, reinvention tour, then you had the infamous Britney Christina performance and the kiss, and then she released this, which is just absolutely insane. Um... Yeah, wow. <laughs>
absolutely incredible. Um, her stage presence is unmatched. Like, do you ever watch those live performances? The first person that comes to mind is like Beyonce when it's like the energy is so infectious and the stage present is so i've said it before but i feel like madonna is such a mythological kind of creature almost where she reminds me of like the gods or something and i always remember that um, um i think it was the behind the documentary uh, behind the music documentary when rosie o'donnell said during the who's that girl tour that that tour kind of really elevated elevated here it was almost like looking at someone like elvis or someone of that stature where it was almost like they're so unattainable and i feel that's the thing about madonna she it's almost like i wouldn't ever want to meet her just because i like the idea of her being that otherworldly kind of amazing artist that's got so much to offer in regards to being a visionary and being um so artistic and being the staple of everyone's lives of evolution of soundtracks of um advocating for change and i've got so much respect and admiration for her as an artist incredible um yeah i was saying quickly before before we go you can switch off you watch your reaction if you're not bothered but um so we had um hung up then sorry get together i love get together i love sorry as well i really hope she does I really wanted to do sorry but like somebody told me that she doesn't like that song i didn't know if it's true um but then i really think future lovers should have been the fourth single over jump um but yeah that's my thoughts as well um but yeah let me know what you guys think that was it i'm just so excited for the tour um to go to another european country i think it'll be something really special um as a life memory as well so i'm really looking forward to it please don't cancel madonna and um, yeah thank you so much guys um if you're new subscribe below give the video a like it and um thank you thank you bye